For the first time, we are hearing from Caitlin Ireland. She's the Conklin County woman whose murder charges were recently dropped by a judge. After ruling, she acted in self-defense in the murder of her roommate's estranged husband. Thanks for being here with us at 5 o'clock. I'm Quillen Parker. And I'm Carla Heath Sands. WALB News 10's Madison Foglio spoke exclu exclusively with Ireland and her attorney and got their reaction to the ruling. I want to hear about the moment you found out the judge granted you that immunity. First thought. And I think my exact words to her were, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? I think I just went deaf. It was like a weight being lifted off of my shoulders. On December 17th, 2022, Caitlin Ireland shot and killed Jason McCollum when he came to his former home where she was staying. She says he assaulted his estranged wife, Chantel McCollum, and then came after her. Started making a lot of aggressive comments, started coming up the ramp towards me. I told him to stop three different times. He never did. Um, after the second time I told him to stop was when I pointed my gun at him and he still didn't stop. And he was probably about five foot from me. He said he would eat those bullets. He took another step towards me and I shot him. Ireland was arrested and charged with Jason's murder. But in June of this year, the judge in the case granted Ireland immunity. Well, the evidence that was presented and based on what the court's finding was that Caitlin was not the aggressor, that Chad McCollum, who was under the influence of methamphetamine, that's what the toxicology reports showed, was the primary aggressor. Following the decision, the district attorney for the Southern Judicial Circuit told me they officially closed her case on Monday, July 1st. Except what the judge ruled, uh, you know, we understood going into it that it was going to to be a uh, a close issue, and the defense was able to show by preponderance of evidence that it was self defense. Once the case was dropped, Caitlin was reissued her paramedic license and has since returned to work at a new job. Madison Foglio, WALB, your hometown news source.